This is an integral part of playing any Atari 8-bit. Get a nice 8 bit rendition of Rule Britannia here. Uh, that is a sop with camel, so I'm told. So we can pretend like we're Snoopy if we want. <clears throat> yeah, once again, this is another Atari 8 bit computer game. Uh, this is Blue Max, as you can read in the flashing text. It's a flight combat game of sorts. We'll just go ahead and start. And if you don't pick up your plane at the right time, yeah, death comes easy in this uh, kamikaze training. <laughs> so let's try that again. This time let's actually take off. I don't know if you noticed the numbers were red there. If you try and take off while the numbers are still red before you get to 100, you crash. But yeah, you can shoot, you move around obviously, you can bomb things by pushing the trigger and pushing down. That means that that's a target I need to bomb, I believe, in order to proceed. Really, it's just a game about destroying as many things as you can. That means you're too low to the ground, and you should probably not be. But when you're down here, you can shoot things that are on the ground. And crash if you get too low, like I just did. Alright, for real this time. That was just uh, uh, training. Yeah, you start out on the side of the river, and your point is to bomb the targets when they appear. The flashing silver targets, usually on the, either the bridges or on the buildings. And you've got things shooting flak at you, so you don't want to get hit by that. I think you can get hit four times. It's been a little while since I've played this game. Once again, by a little while, I mean probably more than a decade at least. Uh, but whenever you get hit, it's unique in that you end up taking damage to one or more parts of your plane. Like, if your guns get damaged, then suddenly you won't be able to shoot with as much frequency. If your machinery gets damaged, then, well, that was close, uh, you obviously can't move as fast. I'm trying to remember what the other... Oh yeah, your bomb hatches. Suddenly, you won't be able to bomb every time that you want to. Which you do by pushing the trigger and then pushing down on the stick. Or the control pad, if you're playing with the control pad like I am right now. I would like to get... Okay, this means you need to land. For the longest time, I could never land because I didn't know that you were supposed to push the button to activate your landing gear. So I would just crash into the runway every time I got to this point. You see my fuel's going up, it's restocking my bombs. Oh, that was close. Almost didn't have enough room to take off again. Now ah, we're on the level. Yeah, the screen turns blue when you're on the same level as the planes, which means that you can shoot them if you're in behind them. Yeah, you start out on the river, and there are other scenes that you get to by blowing up the targets. I don't think I'm going to get to that one in time. Which my pop used to play this game a lot when I was very young on the Atari. And whenever he would get to like the second scene, which they're transitioned after you land. So of course I could never get anywhere but, you know, the river like here that you start at. Uh, so whenever he would get to the second scene, it was a very those were very special days because stuff that you know, we hadn't seen before. Okay, yeah, this guy shows up while you're getting refueled and rearmamented, and sometimes it's random where he flies. Sometimes he'll fly right over you, and he'll just start dropping bombs. 
And when he does that, it's up to the randomizer as far as as far as um, whether you're gonna live or not. You can get really far in this game and just have it end that way through no fault of your own. Ah, not fast enough. So yeah, even though I didn't know how to land in the game, I still played a lot of this. So I would just make up my own challenges, like try and hit the boat in the river with a bomb, which is a lot harder than it probably sounds. Let's see if I can... I think it's a nice touch how they do the shadow of the plane, depending on how high you are. That's a detail that a lot of programmers wouldn't have put into the game. Okay, it's landing time again. Okay, I still didn't get all the targets yet. So this won't be as quick a playthrough as I thought it might be. That's alright. I've only beaten this game once, and it was a long time after... Yeah, it was on emulation. A long time after I had first seen it. Um, uh, see, I just got hit. So my bomb, my bomb bay doors only work maybe one out of every five times, I guess, that I try to use them. Or maybe not at all. No, oh, okay. Needing repairs adds time to how long you've got to be down here, so there's more of a risk of getting bombed like that. That's uh, that's how that goes sometimes. I'll try this one more time, and if I don't get anywhere further than I just did, then uh, I guess we'll call that a stream. Since I promised something quick. I'm trying to think if there's any comparable games to this. Um, you know, obviously, it's a pretty standard shooter, but I mean, as far as the isometric, it's almost like a isometric top-down shooter of sorts. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a game like this could really go on, hold anybody's interest for hours. I don't, I don't think it could even hold my interest for hours playing it. kind of single serving games. Target number one. Sure, what that flashing key means down there. We never had manuals for any of these games because uh, they were pirated. So most of our understanding of it. Oh, is he gonna? No. Oh, <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> I guess I've been blowing up all of this stuff. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we we uh, we never had manuals for these, so we just had to figure everything out uh, the hard way. Just miss.
They came out with a sequel to this called Blue Max 2001, I believe. Uh, seriously? You need to register it. Uh, it was set in the future, obviously. I think like flying saucers, whatever the 80s idea of what 2001 was supposed to be like. Uh, I'll have to look it up later, but I was never really too interested. Ah, right out the gate. So my machinery is damaged. I think that's what the M stands for. Ah, uh, so I'm going like half speed at what I was doing before. And fuselage, I think. Yeah, my uh, I think my fuel's going down faster now, and I missed my target. This is a fantastic way to go. I may have to come back to this one uh, in a few weeks or something. Yeah, I think my fuel's definitely going down a lot faster. I don't know, in some cases that can be really frustrating not having a manual, but find it adds a lot of uh, discovery to the game as well, in a lot of cases. Makes it a little bit more fun than it might have been otherwise. Not again. <laughs> Not like I was going to win this time, anyway. Alright, that's Blue Max.